so what I have decided I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix the pure bulk wine with the cast fruit wine 50-50% um, and add some extra white rum to the cake so if I used to use two tablespoons I'm gonna use three tablespoons and I will save this one um, for the sorrel because the tartness it, it has I think that will go well with the sorrel so that's gonna be my what I'm gonna do since there's no red label on the shelves Hi everyone, I have decided to do a video on um, these wines today because as you know this is the red label wine most of us have been using over the years in Jamaica and we can't get it in the stores, I don't know what happened and um, can't get it in the supermarket so I saw this pure bulk wine and this cast fruit wine in the section where we usually um, buy, find the red label wine and where we usually have um what should I say now in the section where we have the baking things the things for baking cake and all of that this one I went to the wines um area where the most the more expensive wines are but this was I chose this one because it was the least expensive sweet red wine of all the wines I saw so I'm just gonna test it and see how similar it is so this is not a video about which wine tastes better this is just a video about how it tastes right um, I'm not a wine expert I hardly ever drink any alcohol but I want to say things like is this sweet because you have to know how much sweeter this is than this one because it might affect the amount of sugar you put in your cake or your sorrel you know same for this and this now you know just to try another just to try something else just in case the people don't have um any more wine any of these they can't find any of these they could maybe try something else which is what this is more expensive all right not very this is about 1500 jamaican dollars that's about 10 us dollars all right so let's go i'm gonna open them and then put a little in each one just a little I'm not a wine expert I'm not a big drinker or anything just tasting just a little bit of the red label left I have this one from last year but I've had more but I did a wedding cake during the year so that's why I only have this amount left otherwise I would have had enough but it's a good opportunity to get to try other things because I mean everybody in the business you have to help out the smaller business sometimes you know so I'm gonna try mm, that's one have a high fruity smell I smell that one try this one and this one colors have a little more purplish look so let's see I'm gonna drink a little water in between to see what the difference is I don't want to be prejudiced by tasting the red label wine first so I'm gonna have the others and then I taste the red label wine afterwards well, this is nice sweet and nice it has a very sweet aroma to it though i'm not sure what that is let me drink a little water taste this one strange enough this tastes a little stronger than this one it tastes good too. Surprisingly, it tastes nice. Hmm. This has more of an alcoholic aftertaste. But it's nice and sweet. 
because I, I like sweet wines. So let me bring some water. Okay, so let's go for the red label. Mm, it's but this is very very sweet, but it has that alcoholic aftertaste, which I tasted this one more than the other two. So. It is strong, it's a strong wine. I didn't realize it was so strong. It's good, sis. It, you see, not to prejudice yourself. I'm gonna compare these two because I want to really. This has a more fruitier smell, this one here. So they call it fruit wine, so maybe that's the reason. Let me see. And it's, it smells fruitier too. I don't really have that high smell in this one, in this one here, the pure bulk wine, but this is a very fruity smelling wine. So. This has a very tangy taste to it, this one. It's a little tangy taste, which can be good because in the cakes, you know, when you add a little tang to it, it brings up something about the cakes. It over, it, it, instead of the cake just tasting sweet and, you know, it just brings up a little thing in the cake. So, it should be interesting in the cake. It's just sweet and nice. I mean, for a non-wine drinker. It is nice. It, it could it could do well in the in the in the cake because you have the rum to, to bring up everything else. I did, I wasn't expecting the red label, red label to taste so strong in terms of alcohol. It has a strong alcoholic taste to it. Let me see. But this is thirteen point five percent alcohol. This is thirteen point seven percent alcohol. Let me see what this one is. This is 13% alcohol. This one is. Mm, let's see. 9.5%. Hmm, that's strange. Whoa. Okay. Any wine experts out there, you can let me know what you think. This I wasn't smelling much when i just you know the aroma i don't smell anything much coming out of it a very very faint smell it has a tanginess that this one has the pure white wine has Some this this one has a tanginess and this has that tanginess too but this is more tangy than this one I'm gonna try again Yeah, this is like a sharp, a sharp taste to it, very sharp, and you have that, it hits you, it has a sharp taste to it. So, what can I say now? If you're going to use this wine, the Cal's or the Pure, you will have to maybe use a little more rum. That's my humble opinion, um, because it, they are not as strong as the Red Label. I'm not sure if it is because I have the Red Label for over a year. Um, but um, they are not they don't have that strong alcoholic taste like the red label so you might have to use a little more rum with it but in terms of for the cake it is okay I don't think there's anything significant that would prevent that would make the, t the cake taste different that much different I would say even though this has a tang to it, 
this has a more sour taste like i'm not sure what will cause that a good sour not a bad sour has a um, little sour taste sweet but in terms of sweetness the cause is the sweetest then the red label then the bulk then this one i think let me double check this one yeah so this is the sweetest then this one and this one then this one then this one the alcoholic aftertaste though I get from the red label wine so I get more of, of an alcoholic taste from the red label wine especially the aftertaste I get it from the red label wine um, the bulk wine the pure has some but um let me see what i like about the red label is that it has a nice combination of the alcoholic aftertaste plus the sweetness i love that about it so um this is sweeter than this one this doesn't taste as alcoholic as this one the tartness I that uh, it's like almost as this one it's very tart this one is very tart like a uh, I wouldn't say so because it's wine I don't know the term they use um, because this is from a baker's perspective but this has more of that tart taste than the pure bulk but these two taste more tart than these two this is just a nice sweet wine you know sweet taste for cooking you know um, but this one for the alcoholic taste and the sweetness this one for the tartness I think um so I guess it will be good to combine this and this if you want or this and this one and this and this one because um if you want the tartness I will go for this one but this is more expensive than these It's a, this has a combination of that alcoholic taste and the tartness so that's how if you want to choose but so if you're gonna bake know that I've tasted these I've never tasted these before I always just use this one they're all pretty good with the as I, I, I stated though what you get out of each one but if I'm using this one I would definitely use more lime juice in my cake and more um, little more white rum this one you don't have to use as much wine um, lime juice because of the tartness that it has and um, this one you don't have to use as much rum because it's it's strong in terms of the alcohol If you decide to use a wine like this, you'll definitely have to use more this one. You'll definitely have to use more sugar in it. Cause you will have to watch your sugar. Don't use as much sugar. Red label wine. Two that too. Maybe the same amount. A little less sugar if you're gonna use the cars over the red label. This less lime juice if you're gonna use the pure bulk. That's my opinion. But they all, I'm surprised they all taste good. You know, I was expecting it to taste like this and this because I haven't used before used them before. I was expecting a really big difference in taste, but as I said, they are all unique in their own way. This has a combination of alcohol and the sweetness in the red label. It's very unique. But I say you would have to definitely have to use up your lime juice for this one and this one. So this one now it is so this one is more tart so what you can do you can afford to buy these three or these two taste them and then you can decide amongst yourselves if you can get the red label then that will be fine so um 
and that's it that's my humble opinion remember i'm not a wine expert this is like a very i would call it innocent taste test because i'm a baker so i'm tasting them from a baker's perspective and what i want out i'm expecting out of them for my for my cake my gem okay so my final analysis this one is the sweetest cows is the sweetest and it has the least alcoholic aftertaste and the least tartness that is a little sour taste when i say tartness i mean like that um citrusy limey um tongue to it okay in terms of sweetness this is the least sweet one the pure the tartness is uh second because this one is number one in the tartness the alcoholic half after taste i can't really tell between these two because the tartness is so strong in this i can't really tell about the alcoholic aftertaste it's, the tartness is all, almost masking the alcoholic aftertaste in this one the red label wine the sweetness and the alcoholic aftertaste is actually masking the tartness so i'm trying to pick up the tartness but i can't really pick it up because i'd have to spend more time and as i say i'm not much of a a uh, wine drinker or, or I don't really take alcohol so I don't want to be drinking too much to get that taste so I would but it has this unique blend of the sweetness and the alcoholic and the alcoholic aftertaste that I can't I know the tartness is there but I can't really say in terms of how much it is in it um, the fruit wine I spoke about that this one now it's the tart it has this number one in tartness the sweetness is about number three and um, the alcoholic aftertaste because of the tartness I can't it's as just like in this case because of the tartness I can't really pick up the aftertaste it's almost marking masking the alcoholic aftertaste there so that's my opinion from a, what I would call an innocent perspective a baker's perspective I'm not a wine expert the disclaimer I'm not a wine expert I'm just telling you how these wines taste and how I think it would affect the taste of the Jamaican rum fruit cake, which I'm going to make with it. That's the only thing I'm judging them on based on how I think they're going to affect my rum fruit cake. So the one which is has the most tartness, you would use less lime. The one which is a sweetness, you would use less sugar. And the one which has the least alcohol, you would use some more rum in that one. So um yes so that's my opinion thank you for watching and uh, i hope you bake up some cake and enjoy your cake bye